Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're gonna talk about quite a few very interesting things. We're gonna talk about the upcoming equestrian festival, which will actually get this week, this Wednesday. I completely forgot Star Soul just posted their teaser and or I guess the trailer and in the trailer they showed us I think three brand new horses that we're gonna get and oh my gosh when I tell you that they're beautiful, sadly they are gonna be vent horses so they're only gonna be with us for a limited time but I don't know, the temptation is definitely very big and there's some other information that I wanted to go over so of course we're gonna discuss all of this and as always I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do make sure to subscribe to my channel and now let's get into it. Also before we really get into it, it seems like Starcy will post some behind the scenes like recording their next code video so i really wonder if we're gonna get it later today or maybe tomorrow or maybe on wednesday i don't actually know they did space out the codes this month a bit more than in february which honestly i like and if you have not redeemed all of the codes yet make sure to do so as always sso says they only work for 24 hours but they work for longer and if you have not redeemed them yet make sure to do so the codes are scary sabine the sabine office secret sabine and sell sabine and you can get quite a few star coins just try them out if you haven't already and if you don't know how to redeem a code just go check out this video that i posted a while ago where i show you a step-by-step -step process of how to do it so i was just in the middle of editing this video and then i started getting some comments on my youtube channel that there is indeed a new star coin code today honestly i have no idea how people got it because on Star Civil's Instagram story, like, I don't see anything and also in their posts, like, I don't know. Apparently, the code is called so cringe so we're gonna go ahead and check out if it actually gives you star coins i mean not that i doubt anyone but i just want to kind of fact check so i currently have 4539 star coins and i'm just gonna log on to star stable and redeem the code what is it so cringe oh okay it redeemed and i'm just gonna re-log and right now i have 4574 meaning that this was a 35 star coin code so make sure to also redeem this brand new code that we got but anyway let's just continue on with this video so as i said star so just posted their little trailer for the equestrian festival though i'm not sure why they didn't post it on their youtube channel so i guess it would be better to see because now we only have the square from their instagram but let me tell you the trailer is pretty exciting but before we get into that the frisian horses the gen 1 frisian horse and the gen 1 frisian sport horse are leaving this wednesday so if you have not gotten one yet and want to get them you can get them over at marley's vintage barn they cost 300 star coins and if you want to have a little memento of some old horses be sure to go ahead and buy them also if you want to check out the video where i bought my frisian horse check out this video but i'm also gonna put the link to it in the description and in the upper right corner but anyway let's go check out the trailer now It definitely looks very exciting. It seems like they changed a couple of things, which is definitely pretty cool. The most exciting thing is definitely the new horses. Oh my gosh, they look so good. We already know which thing we're gonna get when Star Silva did post their next up in Jorvik. So the festival will stay for four weeks and we get, I guess the first thing we definitely should check out is the new horses that we're gonna get. So we're gonna get the brand new horses in the second week of the festival 
that will be on April 3rd, so not this Wednesday, but the next one. The update for April 3rd is titled More Champions for Your Roster, and Starzilla said it's the perfect time to introduce new variations of two popular breeds. Head to the festival area by Yorick Sables to find new coat colors for Dutch Warmblood and Lipizzaner. I think it will be like two new Dutch Warmbloods and two new Lipizzaners. You can already see one of the Lipizzaners. I don't even know what the coat color is called specifically it kind of looks like dapple gray but also not and oh my gosh it is so beautiful then we can see the dutch warm blood which is kind of looks silver which is so cool like we have any horse that looks like it and then we have the other dutch warm blood which is i think like skew skew bold i don't know some kind of pinto and I don't think we see the other Lipizzana recolor, at least not in this video. Maybe Silva decided against like releasing or something. I'm not completely sure. So aside from new horses, we're also gonna get brand new pets, brand new clothing and tag, you know, outfits, which look so good. I love them. It seems like SSO changed the area just a little. I feel like everything looks a little different. So for the first week of the festival, we're just gonna get the festival back, all of the races, you know, you know, Gervik Stables area. In the second week, we only get new horses. In the third week, we get the quests with Sabine, which from the trailer, it seems like they recycled, but we'll also get a quest where I guess we have a brand new race with Sabine. Because because she finds the races we get from the bobcats in Moorland Dole easy and even lame. I wonder what that will be and then on the last week of the festival, which will be April 17th, we will get another dressage route. So for now we have dressage mastery and dressage practice, but we're gonna get yet another one. And if you watch the end of the trailer, you can actually see and I think even the background music is from Raptor. We're basically gonna get Raptor back, but it does seem like they updated him. I I didn't even think about this when I first, you know, read about Raptor and then I made a short about it because I was like, yay, Raptor! And I saw some comments of people saying that, you know, what they would do if SSO updates Raptor and I, I didn't even think about it, but they probably will be because I don't think his legs and like shoes look this way. You know what? I'm gonna google it. I don't actually know if he looks different. I feel like he has the same, like, the exact pants and shoes. Also, the, like, dressage area, be like, the actual where you go and, I guess, subduct or the daily or the race to do dr dressage changed a little. It's gonna be a pretty exciting time. I am definitely looking forward to it, especially that one Lipizzaner. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. Like, Oh, why are they limited? I really thought that we're gonna get like new permanent additions, but I guess not. But then at the same time, the the two Dutch Wormblads also look so good. I don't know. Let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you're going to buy any of them. They are only going to stay during the festival, which is until almost the end of April. And also they are gonna have standard prices, like the Lepizaners 950 or ever much they cost. And... The Dutch are 900, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, let me know what you think about all of this. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye. Check. Tell me